All right, the oil pan's in. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and check it out. Here's the official reveal. <laughs> I already took it out of the box. Anyways, um, this is the windage tray it came with. You have the oil pan itself. You have the pickup tube. And you got a bag of nuts and bolts. Um, and this is a 302-3. Um, these are plugs actually you put in the side if you're not going to use these um, ports. Because you do only use them on a, I guess, uh, a turbo application. I'm not going to do turbo, so I'm going to go ahead and plug these up. I should have bought the 302-2, which I don't think these come with, so it would have been fine. But they're the same price. 302-3 and 302-2, same price. So I was like, whatever. Uh, I didn't research it enough before I hit the buy button. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I got it. I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions. Uh, go ahead and prep everything, and let's get it installed. All right, this is what we're doing today. We're going to install the oil pan, the front plate, and a harmonic balancer or damper. I think some people call it. But uh, the oil pan, we have to do some prep for the windage tray. The front plate, we really don't have to do anything other than make sure we torque down everything correctly and then it's lined up with the um, where the oil pan connects. I'll show you later. Um, it's kind of like how we did the, uh, the uh, rear plate. Same thing, use a straight edge and make sure it's level so we have a good clean surface for the um, oil pan and then a harmonic balancer. We're just gonna put that on snugly. I don't have a torque wrench today, so we'll put it on snugly and torque it down later, but it'll be in place. And um, we'll just get that on there. It'll help us align the front plate as well. All right, let's get started. Reading over the instructions, let me just fill you in on a couple things you need to know. Uh, this oil pan requires an LS3 dipstick or tube. And here's the GM. Uh, numbers if you want to go that route and this is a 6.1 liter or quartz capacity pan with the filter and here's the filters that you need all right this thing requires you to cut your windage tray and in this pattern what you're looking at is the windage tray I want to say the inside of the windage tray that faces the crankshaft or the yeah, crankshaft. So you got to draw this on and cut this out. So let's get started and make some sparks. And before we put that shiny object on there, as the oil pan, it is uh, all aluminum. Um, let's go over what we're going to do again. We need to put the front plate on and the harmonic balancer or dampener damper what do you want to call it? Oh, i gotta get the thing for that so this is what we got we have the front plate it's all wrapped up nice and clean and we have the gaskets that we need and o-rings and more gaskets we have all the bolts required and the front harmonic balancer and all the tools we're going to need so let's go ahead and take care of the front plate and the balancer. Hey, real quick, uh, I'm looking at this engine and I notice holes for the uh, bolts. Yeah, I notice holes. <laughs> All right, here's where the bolts go. There's not one there. I don't know if it was drilled out, filled in at the factory, or they just missed it. It was Friday at 3.30, and they said, oh, they don't need one there. I don't know. So I looked at the old um, oil pan, and you can see, up oh, right there. You can see there isn't a hole there in the old oil pan. 
There's on the gasket, but not on the old oil pan. So there never was a hole there. But come over to the Holly uh, oil pan and it has a hole. It's either this one or that one. I can't remember. Oh, it's not even the right side. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. It's this one or that one. So I have a hole to uh, that might leak oil. So what I'm going to do is use a bolt with the same dimensions, cut it, and use Teflon tape, and just plug it that way. And just hope for the best. Unless you guys have a better solution for it, I appreciate it. All right, we're going to go over, and go over the notes real quick. Uh, we've already unboxed the Holly oil pan. We're going to, the front plate is torque 18 foot-pounds on the clearance. Uh, I'll show you what that means. It is point zero two zero, And make sure we've got to grease all the bolts. And the harmonic balancer, like I said, we're just going to torque. We're not going to really torque it down. We're just going to torque it till it's tight and then we'll torque it later because I have to go uh, rent a tool to do that but and oil pan bolts 18 foot pounds for all of them except the two long ones it's 106 inch pounds so let's get started all right we're gonna put the plate on but I wanted to show you something um, I know you're not gonna be able to see the front plate a lot when all this the you know the all the stuff's on there, but after I plan, I plan on uh, painting the engine uh, actually uh, aluminum color. Uh, I don't like the dark color. I'd rather have a light color. Um, I think uh, make the engine look better. But anyways, um, I decided to paint the uh, front plate the same color as the car. I did it about three months ago when I was bored waiting for the uh, engine. But there it is. I know I'm going to scratch it up. I'm not worried about it. But like I said, you're not going to see it. But it came out pretty good. I like it. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and put these two together, then mount it. That way I know the gasket is mounted as center to this. Uh, the uh, crankshaft. Okay, just uh, reiterate, or I don't know if I told you. I wiped all the surfaces down that we're going to be messing around with today with uh, mineral spirits all the way around and also the, the top of the uh, where the oil pan's going to go for this, this gasket area and anything that's going to touch metal to metal or with the gasket is clean. Went ahead and stuck these two together, makes it actually easier. You know, I was getting ahead of myself. I need to put the windage tray and the pickup tube in first because of the front plate that will interfere with installation of the pickup tube a little bit. But it'll make it easier if I in install it now. So let me take care of the oil pan first. We're going to go ahead and put the windage tray in the oil pan and uh, tighten everything down. These are uh, ten. There's four. Four bolts and they're 10 millimeter and there's only one way this windage tray can go in so you really can't screw that up and uh, I have some uh, Loctite here I got some Loctite here that I'm gonna put on there and make sure you read the uh, Loctite thing it's kind of weird funny in a way sort of but I made a mistake once uh, this is blue Loctite comes in a red tube with blue uh, highlighted blue where it says you know medium this is red Loctite with a blue container highlighted in red it's kind of faded um, as red <laughs> it's just backwards to me but anyways I'm gonna use the blue uh, Loctite on these bolts all right there they are uh, I don't know the foot pounds on this or foot or inch pounds whatever but I just put them really snug I got blue Loctite on there anyways next up we're gonna put these plugs in 
And we use uh, the white tape, which is, I forgot what it's called. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up with this. Okay, those are in. As you can see, you can see the back side of that one. It's called plumber's tape. That was it, I'm pretty sure. Works out good. I uh, used a 9mm Allen wrench. Worked out. And next up, I forgot what this is called, but we're going to go ahead and put it on. It has a gasket, um, this, and then two bolts. An oil passage, and it requires a 106 inch pounds. So go ahead and tighten that down. And sad to say, the only thing we're missing is the oil filter adapter. I just called the third party that sent this to me and they said go through Amazon. So I got to go that route. It's not a showstopper. Uh, I'm not going to put oil in it right away. So we will square that away when we get it. Okay, we went ahead and fitted the oil pan with the pickup tube and I cranked the crank, uh, the case, and it, it was fine. But I'll do it again before... Uh, I lock it all down, but right now we're just going to install the gasket with the front plate and the, and the balancer. All right, there we go. We're going to try and uh, make that up and as you can see there's like a little bit of a gap right there when you get this lined up with your straight edge uh, You're supposed to have a gap underneath of point zero two zero And right now that's that's rubbing right there. That's almost money I think that's it little bit of gap on the red which we want all right the front, uh, blah, 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 blah. all right the front plate is on remember 18 foot pounds and when you tighten them down all I did was go back and forth crossed up cross down even pressure um, looks like I didn't put the pickup tube in there which I should have and I did not uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be too hard to put in anyways but uh, it would have made it easier I guess all right next is uh, the uh, oil pan finally windage tray it's all cut up uh, follow the directions I just cut straight across the first time it didn't fit so I had to go back and cut all these notches out remember to uh, use a uh, file to file them down and get all the little pieces out you don't want anything falling down inside at all you I mean you just put this thing together why uh, but anyways um, we'll put it on kind of dry fit it and then we'll turn it to see if any of this hits all right uh, real quick I've tightened everything down these are uh, uh, the pickup tube two bolts which are hex I forgot the size uh, it's 106 inch pounds and the windage tray bolts are 18 foot pounds and this one over here ties down the uh, or uh, connects to the uh, oil pickup holds it in place everything's solid now go ahead and uh, dry fit the oil pan again Everything seems to line up and it's flat, which is good. That means the windage tray is cut correctly. That uh, doesn't look too bad. Like I said, you look down there, there's no threads, no bolts going there. It's bugging me. Anyways, um, I need to check a couple things and I'll be right back. All right, this is the uh, gasket. Uh, so it just 
fits right on there. There's one way for it to go. Just line it up to all the holes. All right, it's all lined up. So let's put the uh, oil pan on. Okay, these bolts are 18 foot pounds, torqued down. These bolts are 106 inch pounds. These are two that go in the back. And these are all 10 millimeter. These are 10 millimeter as well. All right, I had to go back a minute. I had to take everything off. Man, I almost torqued everything down. Forgot something very important. Uh, you need to put some uh, RTV silicon gasket right here, right here, right here, and right there. All right, we're correct now. Uh, I put the little gas uh, RTV on all four of those corners. God, I almost made a huge mistake. Take your time, read your directions. Jeez. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and get us to the point where we were. All right, there it is. All right, there's... The oil pan all tightened down. Remember, these are 18 foot pounds. These are 106 inch pounds. And you don't forget the RTV in each corner before you put the gasket on. There it is spilling out. Um, <laughs> God, that would have been bad. Uh, I'm not tightening this down yet because. I still got to do a lot of things and I'll tighten it down after I put oil in. But that's it for now. I'm pretty sure. All right. Recap what we did. We did the oil pan, the front plate, and we, you know, just snugged down the harmonic balancer. That's all we needed to do. Uh, other than that, if you guys got any questions, let me know. Make a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Alien Rustomata Garage.